What up everybody, before the video starts, I just wanna say 56% of you aren't subscribed. Pick this graphic, so if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. So basically what we're doing today is a bit of a cook-off because I'm gonna make a dish and Sid's gonna make a dish. And then we're gonna ask the one person in the house who is a real chef, who did better. We're just on the way to get coffee. And then my dad's making lunch. Okay, starting the video off with the ritual meals. Take it away. Amaranth, broccolini, garlic, olive oil. Amaranth is like a ready vegetable. It's really good for you. Wow, sea bass, capers, garlic chai from our garden. Your butter, a little bit of lemon juice. Farro with potato, turnip, and also carrots. Green beans, yeah. Roasted eggplant, sesame oil. Guys, look at Mochi's new haircut. She looks like a, like a little greyhound. We just left her eyebrows. I was just out of the Japanese snack store and I bought this Kit Kat and because it's imported from Japan, paid 25 Canadian dollars for it. So I'm gonna try it. Get my dad to try it too. And said to try it. It feels so light too. 25 bucks. Is the $25 Kit Kat worth it? Someone's gonna comment like, lol, I can get these for like five bucks. Oh, I thought it was gonna be yellow for some reason. Mmm, that might be worth it. We hold $25 Kit Kat. Mm. Pretty good, no? Banana. I bought this Kit Kat for $25. I want you to try it. $25 Kit Kat. Guess the flavor. Oh, oh, oh. No, don't, no, don't chew, chew it. Chew it. I don't, but it's not. It's the flavor. It's just killing me. You don't like it? No. I like it. $25. Bullshit. $25. What's the flavor, do you think? Ooh, ooh. The most disgusting uh, artificial taste of what? Strawberry, bubble gum, banana. Oh God! Banana is one of the cheapest, cheapest ingredient. Okay, and they are charging twenty five dollars. Where is that money? Because it's imported from Japan. Imported doesn't mean it's to be expensive. Banana Kit Kat. All right, so my hats actually went live today. I know this is a week technically from when they happened. But they just went live today. I have only about ten left. It's only been an hour. Just want to thank everyone so much who. Oh. I just want to thank. I just want to thank everyone so much who supported and bought a hat because it just means a lot showing me the worst time Mochi could have started chewing so just means a lot to me because you guys are the reason why I'm able to make content for a job as a living and supporting me through ways where I get to work creatively and I'm rewarded by seeing you guys wear something that I've created just means a lot. I don't know if I said that right, but the point is it means a lot to me and it's just want to thank you guys because without you guys, I didn't know what I was doing with my life. So big thank you. This is truly genuine from me. Like it's just crazy the amount of support I get from like a channel that isn't massive by any means. So I guess compared to some people, it's big, but bro, I'm holding Mochi's toy the whole time is just following me. But yeah, the 50,000 that watch is worth like 500,000 I feel like compared to some other people because the support I get is just insane. So I want to thank you guys. So this vlog I'm trying a lot of rare snacks. My boy has this like rare snack business. Not running yet, but I had this Dunkaroo cereal. Or Dunkaroo is a Canadian thing. I think they might be. It used to be this on screen where you dip it in the, the like frosting and eat it. I'm supposed to be eating healthy like I've been trying to, but I don't know. I'm craving to try this for some reason. That's what it looks like. What do you guys do first? Pour the cereal or the milk? Pouring the milk is kind of psychopathic to me. Dunkaroo cereal. Definitely tastes exactly like the frosting. I don't know if I'd ever eat this besides for a snack for breakfast. It's kind of nasty. Midnight snack though. Someone's cooking a meal tonight and it isn't my dad. I'm gonna rate your cooking. Okay. Harsh critique or be nice? You're never nice. The head chef for tonight. Not you for once, huh? Thank God. Can you present your dish to Iron Chef Lee? <laughs> it's a brown rice bowl with goat cheese, yeah. toasted walnuts, dates, figs, and kale. Mmm. I like the olive oil when you toasted the. Uh, I have something to top it up with this dish. Oh, I like, I like the dates. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to top it up with? Okay. <laughs> First of all, this is a vegetarian. It's a very sumptuous meal. Yeah. It's very healthy. I can taste it. It's really good, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. I'm going to top it up my vegetarian, which is my rack of lamb. <laughs> yeah, How's the taste though? Mm. Did you cook the brown rice too? Friend did. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my brown rice actually failed in the rice cooker, so. <laughs> Tell you. What did she do that was good? <laughs> That is so bratty. You no, know, I like the uh, the date with the goat cheese. The Thank saltiness you. from the, uh, the goat that. cheese. <laughs> you kidding? And I said, mm. you know, this is a great, you should have filmed this. I'm gonna call it Iron Chef Dad's son's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we have kids, they'll make a video called Iron, Iron Chef's, Chef's Dad's son's son. <laughs> Alright, 
haircut. Didn't want to lose too much of the color, so I didn't cut it that short. I saw this kid's TikTok, I'll link it here, and he was making like healthy, like, kind of junky food. Somehow it's still healthy. I want to try and make it. I bought an air fryer. You know, everyone on TikTok uses a fucking air fryer. First, I gotta unbox our air fryer. Fry me to the moon. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I don't even know what brand this is. Oh! Boy! Alright, so what we were making is this. I don't know how it's gonna go. Apparently it has protein low fat. So I just wanted to try it out. The butter and everything like that is light butter. Protein chips is the breading. The ranch sauce has no fat or whatever and all that stuff. So start off two teaspoons of flour, paprika, garlic powder, the salt to mix this up. All right, this is actually gonna be used for the breading because that's where the, a lot of the protein's gonna come from, I guess. Quest chips, 19 grams protein. Then we need to add some panko breadcrumbs. And for the coating, I have a tablespoon of this Frank's Red Hot Buffalo. Also got one egg in here. Twist this together. For the chicken burger, we need a tenderizer. We're gonna go to town. And we're gonna coat it in some flour. And coat it in here. And coat it in here. We want it crispy, so we have to get a lot. That was the first one. I feel like I need to coat it with more egg. Nice coat. And the breading. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 375. All right, next you need to get some of your light butter and a bit of honey. It says eight grams, but I'm just eyeballing all this at this point. We need to microwave it now. Add more of this Frank's. You added quite a bit. Once the air fryer is done, we coat it one more time and then put it in for like three or four more minutes. All right, I just took it out. The Quest chips look kind of burnt, but I think his look like that too, kind of. Really hard to cook and film with one hand. But all the TikTokers that do this, like Newt and them, and shout out to you because Fucking good. Unless you have a filmer. Cooking and filming is like the most stressful thing ever. Back in three, four minutes. I said to use brioche buns, but I couldn't find any, so I just bought these like hamburger buns. Cut it in half, we're gonna toast it. Fat-free ranch. So I just took them out, played it, some pickles. Damn, that bun sounds good. Check it out, first bite. It's actually really good. Is it supposed to be like a healthy fried chicken? Macro friendly, he said. High in protein, there's only supposed to be 15 grams of fat. Good? Rating? I was suggestive. Yeah? Oh my god, so hot. Oh. Air fried. Oh, you got the air fried stuff, eh? Yeah. I wanna check it out. Well, the thing behind this recipe is that it's like low fat and high protein. Be brutally honest. Why? Because I'm always nice to you. Yeah. This is fucking shit. <laughs> you air fry the bun too? No. <laughs> Toaster. <laughs> I really like the uh, taste of uh, the balance. You never over salt it. The acidity is coming from some kind of tomato or some sriracha. It's Frank's buffalo sauce. You know, I'm actually not tasting, I'm eating it. Mm. It's actually not bad. The chicken is not overcooked. I'm very impressed, man. He's actually eating it. Mm -hmm. I think I did well. There's a saying, when you're hungry, eat anything, everything. Finally, leaving it up to you. There's Sid's goat cheese salad, and there's my uh, buffalo chicken. You can critique each one, and then what we'll one do you like better? Well, you could look at uh, Sid's kale, goat cheese, roasted walnut, brown rice, dates, dry figs, balsamic, mustard dressing. Just listen to all these great ingredients. <laughs> what does it sound like? It sounds healthy, a vegetarian. Especially with the rack of lamb added. Oh, I didn't add the rack of lamb. You just I, I, which is my rack of lamb. No, I ate a rack of lamb. That's my, <laughs> that's my dish. <laughs> well, your dish is like this. A bun, a packaged sauce, no. an air fryer, bread and chicken. <laughs> you know, to really want to critique, I think, you know, really hands down, Sid made the best dish. Oh. I, I ate everything. It's okay, not junky. You know what was the best dish, best part of your dish? It's low fat, high protein. Wait, 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 can I just say it? Oh. Buns. That you put together was so crispy. I really store bought love. bun that I put in the toaster. Yes, <laughs> that was the best part. All right, well, Sid one, I guess. We're gonna go see Suicide Squad. Apparently, supposed to be really good. I got the tickets a while ago because I saw TikTok saying it was one of the best movies coming out. I'm gonna give you a, a review of that. Show you the theater. The theater we're going to is kind of lit. We were it, just discussing what was our last movie that we saw together. It must have been The Birds of Prey in Madrid a year and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. So we're actually in a VIP theater. Seats fully recline and you can order food to them. So for good movies, it's nice. For cheap meals, it's nice because food's disgustingly good. You have to be 19 actually because you can drink in the seats. Show you guys the chairs now. Check out the seats. 
We have time for one more job. Review of the movie, I give it like I give it like an eight out of ten, eight point five out of ten. I don't know, ninety five is pretty high to me. That's what it has on Rotten Tomatoes. But I thought it was good. I would give it probably a five out of ten. Actually, yeah. You agree to disagree?